Welcome to ExtraTorrent.com. Hi guys. Let's continue with part 2 of the tutorial. Now let's see what do the remaining icon do in the description. Let's start with code. With this tag you can place any text or link within a box in the description. So let's select the codec information and first clear the tags which we had used earlier. Click on this clear icon to clear any tags previously used. As you can see they have been removed now. Now select the text you want to put inside a box and click on code icon. You will see that it has been placed in a box now. None other tags will work inside a code tag, so do not attempt to use any. Let's look at the spoiler tag now. If your description is too long, then you can use expandable window to hide some part or whole of description. Let us put the screenshots in the spoiler. So select the screenshot and click on the spoiler icon. Next enter the title for your spoiler screenshots in this case. Let us remove the title for screenshot which we had earlier and place the spoiler above the YouTube video. Now let's go and check it. So you can see the spoiler here which expands on clicking here. Similarly, text, links. YouTube trailers and everything can be placed inside a spoiler. It just makes the description less congested. Now, let us position everything to the center of the page. Although, it's your choice as how should it look in the end. Let's select whatever you want to be placed in the center. Now let's us see how to create ordered lists in the description. We will create ordered lists out of the codec information details. So let us first clear the code tag which was used earlier. Now, we will select the audio details and click on any of these three icons. Let's select the first one which says, Ordered List. It just puts bullet points before each line.
similarly we will use the other two options in the here, and let's see how it looks finally. So here we have used the list option and then the ordered list and lastly the unordered list option. Using these list options helps to arrange text if required in an orderly manner. The next option we are going to use is the horizontal line. Using it would just draw a horizontal line. Horizontal lines can be used to create sections and partitions in the description. Now let's see how it looks after we use them. So there, you can see the lines on the page. So, thoughts all for now. Most of the options have been covered in this tutorial. You can play around with the rest of them and see how can they be put to use. There is always scope for improvement. To see how descriptions can be created in different ways, check other members' torrents and gradually it will be a piece of cake. Hope this tutorial comes handy to you. Thank you for using XTorrent, the biggest BitTorrent system.